global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings today. We have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, finally, Supreme Court to hear David Leon's and Emeka Hiriuha appeal. But before we go on with details of the news and further analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. All right, let's look at the news in detail. The Supreme Court has fixed Tuesday for hearing of the apl application filed by Mekai Hedioha, a former governor of Imu State, and uh, David Leons, the All Progressive Congress candidate, governmental candidate in Bielsa State, who was hoisted out of his position 24 hours to the inauguration to his inauguration versus Kande, who is a spokesperson of the supreme court confirmed these to the cable when he was contacted on saturday according to him he said yes it is true the appeal of bielsa state will be also held on same day tuesday he said over the phone he had asked the apex court to review the judgment which led to his removal as Governor of Imo State, while Lyons also demanded the Apex Court re-examine the replacement as governor elect 24 hours to inauguration. Doye Deri, who is the replacement and also the rival of, of David Lyons, has since been sworn into the office as the governor of Bielsa State. In general, the Apex Court declared Hope Uzodima candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC as the duly elected governor of the state on the grounds that the results from 388 polling units were excluded when the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC announced the final tally in March 2019. The court upheld the prayer of the APC candidate and affirmed him as a duly elected governor. In the case of Bayasa State, Leon was sacked by the Apex Court on the grounds that his deputy, Biobara Kumar Degi, presented a forged document. And this has triggered a lot of reactions from Nigerians as most people are waiting to see what will be the outcome? The question is, will it be given to, um, will the seat be given back to Lyons or would it be uh, still given back to the PDP guys? There are a lot of things that is currently pending, which um, in the process of discussing, we're going to be looking at that. But first of all, let's look at the comments of Nigerians about this. This one say, okay, ABC is known for forgery. And what was is they use the person way do for GMB, mm. that's uh, General Muhammadu Buhari, Adeo so now the name that sound like that, like that of an oracle. Mm. And uh, this one says here, it says, I knew that this will happen. Immediately it involved APC. Supreme Court had to slate a date immediately. And certainly two things will happen. It's either they will take it from uh give it to a make i hate you her or they return it to leon's or oh, you know what this person is saying he wants to say the lordship will not accept in a hurry um that they are, are goofed in respect to the judgment that sack the duo a make i hate you her and david leon's however wonders can still happen but it's pretty slim then those are some of the options some of the uh, opinions of nigerians most people believe that it will not be given hearing and how true is this most people believe that emeka emeka hate your house case is overly obvious but that of leon's has already been settled and the only thing i think leon's is trying to do david leon's or by also still is trying to do is to you know, awaken their emotions and let them understand how painful it is for one who, for him to be punished for the offense of his, you know, do offense of his uh, 
um, fellow candidate and to him he feels bad it shouldn't have happened like like that but just like we had already discussed i think the um anger should be rolled over to you know the apc screening committee because i believe that all of them had bought forms you know and they had they saw those discrepancies during the primaries the question is why did you allow it to fly and that's why we've always been saying in this case of Godfatherism has gone extra mile in spoiling a lot of things for a lot of people. Imagine, Leons, imagine if he had known that this is what it would cost him. For me, this is the worst I have ever seen. 24 hours, he was even already hazing how he's going to do everything. You know, people have already started calling you names. You've already listed the. You have already been. You have already listed the names of those who are going to be working alongside with you, your commissioners, and uh, your special assistant. You have borrowed. You have done a lot of things. And in his mind, he never believed that twenty-four hours to that date, to that day such a thing can ever happen even me personally it is the first in the history for me i've never seen such before 24 hours to the dda and all of a sudden what kind of near success syndrome is that ah god forbid you that one is near success syndrome i've never seen that one before and before you know he was kicked out and guess what he doesn't have a case Going back to the Supreme Court is a huge waste of time. What are you going to say over there? What kind of things are you going to invoke? Because number one, I believe the electoral listing laws in Nigeria have it that when you are going out with someone to you know, go in for any post, you are intertwined. Whatever that affects him affects you. There is no way that they can remove the you know, governor and leave the deputy to be there. If they are impeaching the governor, the deputy goes away same. There is no way they can impeach the governor. They impeach the governor and the deputy stay. For example, now Buhari, if they kick Buhari out of that seat, there is no way Osibanjo can be left there because both of them are intertwined. You guys went in there as partners, and so if one is leaving, the other is leaving. So if it has been confirmed that those documents he presented as his academic qualification were actually forged, there is nothing anybody can do about it. So for his own, it's overly slim, except the finger of God. Except, ah, <laughs> except the finger of God will be at war. And guess what? Nigerians will scream again. But for Emeka Hidioha, you know, his own case has nothing to do with forgery. He has the papers. His um, deputy also have a good result. So I don't think his own case um, uh, can be considered not possible. Because number one, already it's been hit globally. It's been on global spotlight that he was denied his legitimate right the judgment was actually wrong and based on what we have been told and what a lot of political analysts have you know said it was a case of mathematical error the computation were actually wrong because there's no way you can give into such a thing saying that a particular person's result is higher than the accredited voters it doesn't drive that way if they are credited so so amount of people five people and then the results you go around getting results from everywhere and at the end of the day we are seeing 20 people how did it happen what the people that we say they are going to vote is only five and you are bringing a result of 20 people it doesn't work already that clearly shows that the result you are having is actually very fake so with that, if he presents his case very well, and owing also to the fact that there are so many senior advocates that he has, you know, already hired that will front his case for him, the highest of them all is uh, the former Attorney General of um, the Federation, who is also a senior advocate of Nigeria. I believe he has sat on that seat before. And uh, owing to the fact that he has been uh, Attorney General of the Federation, he knows how to handle that case and it will be given, you know, hearing and it will get the right result. I'm talking about Kanu Agabi from Crossroads State. So I believe if he plays his game very well with the level of, you know, things that we've already heard globally, don't forget that we already have, if you check our videos, you will see it. We have already presented a case um, by the, you know, um,
the foreign bodies, I'm talking about the United States of America, uh, they are former this thing, uh, assistant, as you say, the Attorney General has said that if uh, um, Nigerians don't change their, what they call, fragrant, fraudulent verdict over the case of a Mekai I hear you have certainly uh, that it will attract sanctions for the Supreme Court judges and the sanctions are quite very stiff. According to them, they said that they will go as far as losing even their properties if they have any in the United States. They will be given a visa ban. So many things, their name will be listed and they will never go to the United States again. So um, with all of that put together, I said even if it's not even reviewed, that they will have to re look into the committee in the Congress that has to do a lot about, um, you know, AIDS to Africa will begin to reconsider why it should be given to a country that does not respect the fundamental human right of its citizen, that they cannot give AIDS to such people. So putting all of that together, there are a lot of fears right now. Every, apart from just those foreign influences, also I believe that the judges will want to restore back the independency of the judiciary, they want to restore back the dignity, the integrity of the judiciary. The judiciary has been known to be, you know, the, the hope of the common man, the last hope of the common man. Every time you go to the judiciary, things must be done right. But this time around, it has been traded on the platform of possibly bigotry, nepotism, ethnicity, and all of that. So they are doing everything within their powers to see how they can restore that. And I believe that uh, for Emeka Hediuha, uh, his case is really obvious. He may likely get back his mandate. I think that is also the reason why the likes of Hopu Zodima is doing everything within his power to see how he can, you know, make the federal mind to be involved in what is happening. Fairly recently, you know, he came up and was talking about plans by some PDP political juggernauts, political heavyweights that they have a plan of overthrowing the president. You know, he came up with that, that uh, that plan is ongoing and that they are even working with some international agencies to see how they can topple the government of Buhari. He came up and just yesterday, Hanez and Debo youth also came up with the same thing and they were shouting and screaming. This morning, uh, the president has even spoken about it that there are a lot of plans trying to see how they can you know uh, raise the people against the presidency so a lot of things are happening trying to bring in destruction but they said that has been fixed and I believe that the judiciary will want to establish the fact that they are actually an independent organ of the government and they cannot be influenced. So certainly if the case is well presented, I think there's bound to be reconsideration. We are waiting for 18, which is a, which is a Tuesday, the 18th of February 2019 to see if the table will turn against Hobo Zodima. If the mandate will be snatched away from APC Hobo Zodima and given back to Emeka Hedioha, it's going to go into history because such has never happened in the history where a sitting governor was kicked out and later on he fought and got back his mandate. It will be the greatest achievement for second who is the chairman of PDP. We are waiting for that. A lot has been happening in the political scene and we are hopeful that at the end of the day, everything is going to end up well. Don't forget that the current the president is trying to see how he can write back his name in gold. He wants to be remembered for something good. So that's why he has decided to pull his hand out of so many things that are happening currently. Already his hands are full. Don't forget that the issue of insecurity has posed a lot of threat to his position as the president of this country. A lot of people are doubting the you know will power of the presidency in solving the problem of insecurity other things have also matched up so right now he's trying to see how he can you know restore back he, the, the, restore back his integrity and get back you know the support of the people who voted him into power so we're waiting to see what will become of the two cases that will be reviewed by the Supreme Court. I'm talking about the case of David Leons and that of Emeka Hiriha come the 18th day of February 2020. Please go to our comment section, let us interact what's your position about this particular case. Do you think Emeka Hiriha will walk away smiling or will you, do you think it will still end up based